Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to talk about layers. Yes, new layers panel in Photoshop CS6. So, as you can see, it's quite different. Uh, there's some options right here on the top. They weren't here before. But what do they do? Well, it's here kind, but what does it mean? So basically, uh, I've got this uh, website I've designed a few years ago and we want to search all the pixel layers so for that I'll just click on this option and as you can see all of these are pixel layers so back to normal but I know there's some text here because I know for a fact this is done it it's a text layer so let's find it if we click the T for text there you go so we know that we have some text layers right here and uh, if we click second option it will be for adjustment layers there's none in here and right here it's uh, shape layers and there's none in here either and uh, in here I filter by smart objects and there's none either but there's more options yes we can search by name so let's say I want to search by a name so let's say the girl so I'll just click there and girl and there you go we've got the layer of this girl but let's say something else effect so okay so we know that this text layer and the girl have an outer glow that's cool is there anything with the bevel in the boss nope stroke nothing S drop shadow perhaps oh yes there's two drop shadows and we have mode so this is pretty cool because you can see different blending modes so all of them are normal I think but let's see uh, any in dissolve nope darken no multiply and we can go so if we're searching for something that it's a different uh, different blend modes you can check it right here on the mode and the attribute well we can search lots of things so we have all of these is visible layers so uh, I'm just going back to kind and I'm just going to show you something uh, I have small stroke layer and I'm going to hide it so I'm going to attribute and visible and that layer is not there as you can see because it's only filtering for visible uh, visible layers so locked layers no locked layers empty layers in here I've done this on purpose just now before I started the tutorial so I can just get rid of it because sometimes we do create empty layers and it's taking some space and uh, we don't want it so we can filter it very easily and the linked clipped layer mask as you can see there's none vector mask obviously there's none layer effects we've got some effects in here so at first when I first looked at this I was like what does this do but it's really really cool and really really helpful and that's it for now thank you for watching and I'll see you next time bye for now